Hey, I'm twice divorced. Leave me alone. Twice divorced. Maybe you're doing something wrong, buddy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting season 6 of Dexter. I pretty much said everything I had to say in the season 5 finale. So for today we're just gonna hop right into the reaction and have a little discussion in the end. So let's start watching Dexter season 6 episodes 1 and 2. There are times in our lives when everything seems to go wrong. 911, what's your emergency? I've been stabbed. And now we're gonna go... I hope they're bad people. Hello, Ben. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Roger. They are. Helping some of your patients. Two for the price of one. No more knife? Oh. Well, it's a lot less messy. So it makes sense. Dexter! It's not what you're thinking. Hey, Dex! This was a great idea. Buying the apartment next to yours? Because now you can slip in and out of your place day and night without anyone knowing. I never really thought about that. We just needed the extra space. How's my sister working out for you? Great. Harrison loves her. And I love him. I guess we should be leaving. Yeah, unless you need me to stay. No, no, you should go. I'm good. But I will need you to stay late tomorrow night. Your high school reunion. Already on my... High school reunion. <gasps> That's gonna be good. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Big day for you tomorrow. We're all moving forward. Oh, new place for Harrison. Very rigorous admission process. Not everyone that. Oh, by the way, Passover is coming, which fits perfectly to Moses. Protestant? No. Jewish? No. Muslim? No. Any religious affiliation? What do you believe in, Mr. Mullen? Nothing. I don't believe in anything. That's, that's actually good because he's open to anything. You really believe that? You really believe in nothing? <laughs> Suppose I believe in a certain set of principles. Science. Well, a set of rules on how to conduct myself in the world so that I don't get into trouble. Seriously? What? A set of rules to follow so you don't get in trouble? Sounds like something I might teach a puppy. Is that so bad? Mm. It just sounds kind of cold and empty. Does it? Yeah. It's not just about you anymore. You're a father. What about Harrison? You have to think about what you want him to believe. Today we join in witnessing the promotion of one of Miami Metro's finest. Maria LaGuardia. Mm. That's our Samaritans. What errands? Pointed to the department 12 years ago in June. Why do you smell like old lady? <laughs> the mall is bringing a clone. It was too early for a court dog. <laughs> Not always an easy time. <laughs> Angel is the librarian. Looking awfully lovey dovey up there. Matthews and LaGuardia hate each other. Oh, yeah. Just like you and Quinn used to hate each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Captain LaGuardia. Deputy Chief. That was a beautiful speech. I was touched. It was almost as if... Almost as if you'd written it yourself? You were very convinced. Okay, cut the crap, Maria. Give me the book. Anybody else would have thrown you to the wolves. Deputy Chief Matthews featured prominently in Miami Madam's little black book. Wait, what, what does that mean? Divorce that husband of yours as soon as you realized he was no career rest. That is not... Wait, she divorced him? Watch your step, Maria. Playing with the big boys now. So it's Captain, Captain LaGuardia. And what, what, she, she, she and Angel divorced? And this is the heart of it all, my lab. Who are you and why are you in my way? Um, I'm one of Professor Masuka's students. Professor Masuka? Yeah, I'm teaching both the extension and online classes in forensic pathology at the university. Nice. The future of forensic science. Well, wow. the future looks very bright. She's just a woman. Relax. Hey, I'm twice divorced. Leave me alone. Twice divorced. Maybe you're doing something wrong, buddy. Nice jacket for the big high school reunion. Uh, 20 years. Speaking of schools, have you... Who is he taking to the reunion? He cannot go alone. He has to take someone. 
You're like the only person that hated high school more than me. Catch up with some of the old friends. Friends. I You're hoping to get laid. Oh, I think he he hopes he he's uh, looking for someone there, a classmate who is a uh, big trouble. I didn't exactly have friends in high school, but she was always nice to me. Unlike Janet, Joe hardly knew I existed. I'd almost forgotten about her until I noticed her obituary on apparent suicide. But there was blood underneath her fingernails. Look at him, he's looking sharp. Oh, it's a oh bloody moon. Yikes. Take us closer to the edge. They like shallow water. There. And she's pregnant. Uh, uh, uh. There's a lot of them inside. Are you gonna need a seven? Oh no. What? I was invisible in high school. Hmm. Just a shadow passing through the hallway. Dexter! Oh, shoot. Best biology lab partners ever, right, dude? Oh, so he wasn't really invisible. Like the first student ever to ask for seconds. That was a great learning experience. <laughs> Hot shot blood spatter guy. <laughs> we should check out all these activities they got planned for us. Yeah, you go on ahead. <laughs> Hijacking Dexter. And there he is, still the center of attention. I sharpen part of it so that I can prick Joe's hand when we shake and draw a small drop of blood. Dexter! Mindy! I'm so sorry to hear about your wife. Oh, thanks. Interesting shot. It's making me feel uncomfortable, which is, I guess, on purpose. They're so close up to my face. You look fantastic. I can't wait to sit down and catch up. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, there's some people I need to... A lot of people want to talk to him. It's like someone's been working out. Yeah, doing my best. <laughs> he said he was invis... In Invisible. <laughs> You've had a personal tragedy. Unlike everyone else, you look better than you did 20 years ago. Do you think you look better than you did 20 years ago? Popular. <laughs> How's it feel? I hate it. <laughs> Come on, it's great. So what am I supposed to do? Enjoy it, son. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Uh, why is he... Uh, I'm gonna go grab a refill. <laughs> he was checking Dexter out. Dexter, what's going on, man? Ah, nice. A sample of my own blood. <laughs> Looks like you've done pretty well for yourself over the past 20 years. Sporting good stores. Oh, it's good business. I work for Miami Metro Homicide. Uh, Lab Geek. Lab Geek? That's who you are. Now I remember the uh, science <laughs> brainiac. <laughs> yep, that would be me. <laughs> hey, I was sorry to hear about Janet. I understand you kind of went through the same thing. You know, it's been three years now and still sometimes I get so angry with Janet doing what she did leaving me like that. Wow. Oh my god. Can look at that. This prom queen is still hot as ever. You know my one regret in high school is that I never tapped that sweet ass. Well, you were dating Janet then. Right. I should at least go say hello. Yeah. Okay, a cheater and a Don Juan doesn't mean a killer. Come on, Dexter! It's hammer time! Oh no, oh no! Or how it differs from regular time. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have no words. It's good that he doesn't dance usually. These guys again. They look like normal people, but they're hunting snakes and exchanging them, I guess. In the midst of the street was the tree of life, which bears 12 manner of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. I'd like some oranges, please. Ah, uh, naranjas. We divorced, things go back to where they were when we were still friends. Wait, that's what they meant by going back to the beginning? I need someone in here who I can trust. Someone who will have my back. I'm someone who needs to be on the streets. The street can be exciting, but it's also hard. And none of us are getting any younger. Hmm. Mm hmm. Amen. Well, how much of a salary about? 20% the first year. Fine. But no promises. Okay, Lieutenant Batista. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Watch well. 
One of you will be lucky enough to become my... Is that his insides? These tissue tears indicate they were removed in a very crude manner. Where was the Vic disemboweled? Down to here. No signs of a struggle. Yeah, he was either dead or unconscious when his intestines were removed. But they said they didn't feel anything. Can we talk about it? Yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, like, later. Why? Oh, no. That's what I'm asking you. That... You're being weird. You're being weird. Is he going to propose? I'm gonna sneak back to my reunion. I got a big flag football game to suit up for. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear him right? He's really going out of his elements in this episode. <laughs> you gotta block that shit, Morgan! <laughs> Make him bleed, Dexter. Has he ever played? Oh my god. Alright, so. Oh, whoa. Who taught you how to play football? My dad. Oh, shoot. So, is it a match? Please, don't be a match. And we've got a blood match. Uh... She didn't find it scary? The statue? All kids have to learn those kind of things. Those kinds of things. Sorry, but why? It's the catechism. And they need to learn that because... God has put a desire for himself in every person. How do we even know there is a God? Well... You don't know it, you feel it. When you really get down to it, it's all about faith. It's something you feel, not something you can explain. It's very hard to put into words. Because it makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. Made it all much more clear. Sure. Always happy to help. <laughs> nice of Dexter to let you out early tonight. Oh yeah, he's such a good boss. And with all he went through last year, you know, losing his wife, I think he's putting it all behind him at least. I don't know. Some nights. It just seems like some nights the pain gets to be too much and he's got to just disappear for a while. Go out on his boat. Poor guy needs a hobby or something. Totally. Thank you. Oh, he has a hobby. This bottle of champagne, please. Champagne? What is up with you? This oh, he accepted the offer. Looking at the next lieutenant of homicide. Well, when did this happen? It's not official yet. I'm only acting LT, but you know. Should come to any day now. Oh, wow. What? Kind of almost uh, naked on top there. That's... I just don't want people thinking that you're my girlfriend. You just took off your top. You're all sexualized. Oh my god. I'm a prude and I think she looks just fine. I, I just wanted to apologize for the other day. I I'm pretty ignorant in spiritual matters i had a rather unconventional childhood my father taught me what he thought was important had some concerns that seemed more pressing hmm. learning about hmm. god I, see. I want harrison to have a normal childhood i would like for him to go here and you came all the way out here this morning just to tell me this it seemed important hmm. a child's education is very important we can find a place for your son thank you Oh, that's the body of the fruit guy? I think they sewed him up? He wasn't in the water very long, three, four hours max. Yeah, it doesn't look like somebody was trying to hide him. No, yeah, more like they wanted the body to be found. Someone cut him open and then sewed him back up. Or a fruit vendor. His stitchings are really weird. There's like an A and then a horseshoe kind of thing. It's Greek. Alpha Omega. I dated some sorority chicks back in the day. Of course you did. <laughs> The snake! Oh no! Ew, that is so freaking gross. Ugh. Oh no, it's gonna jump. Ugh. Yeah, ugh. Seven snakes. <sighs> oh, dude. The guy just fainted. <laughs> it's not a good sign for a crime scene investigator. Goodbye, big guy. Hello, run around. Little Miss Hottie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, so you've got the old guy who's kind of the mastermind and then his, his sidekick who kills the people. We're all M99. I'm Dexter! 
I was hoping I'd see you before the weekend was over. Uh, well... Wait, so it's a whole weekend of a reunion? Why, why so aggressive? We had so many classes together. Every test we took, I'd copy all your answers. I never noticed how cute you are. Until now. Gil. What? Is she, she's acting like she's actually in high school. Maybe I should give you a little something back. What the? What the hell? This is... What? This woman is crazy. Trisha, you bad girl. Trisha. You hear? Oh. Fast reflexes. I hate jocks. Tonight is meant for victory. It's time to make you dead. I don't think that last one is right. And what the hell is going on? Why'd you kill Janet? Who said I killed Janet? I didn't kill Janet. I was... Oh. No more lies. But I had to. Yeah? Why? Because we were having problems. And the marriage was over. <laughs> you know how expensive a divorce is? Really? That's your answer? What would Jesus have done? I wonder how that's going to affect his decision to send Harrison to that preschool. So what? I'm supposed to defend my beliefs to you? If you don't mind. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. I mean, they're only human. But God, God forgives us. You kill someone God forgives you for? Yes. So I can kill you and God will forgive me. If you let me go, God will give you life everlasting and whatever you want. <laughs> Don't you hear how foolish you sound? Because he will smite you with swords and rocks and thunder. Oh. <gasps> oh, a hammer. Dexter has some new moves, I see. I really want to talk about work. What is going on with you? You're acting so weird lately. You're about to drink the candle. <laughs> Wait, so he's going to propose in the in that restaurant, that kind of pub? I don't think that's the right place. It it looks like a kind of a trashy restaurant. I don't. <gasps> okay, nice job, Debra. Wait, she got. I saw a serpent rise up out of the sea, having seven heads. And upon his head's the name of blasphemy. So it's begun? Yes. It's begun. It sounds like they conjured something. Or maybe they think they conjured something. But I also have a son, and I have to think about what he wants and what's best for him. Maybe he'll grow up to be someone who wants to think about those kinds of things. That's it. That was abrupt. Until a few days ago, I was convinced there was nothing I believed in, but I was wrong. There is something I truly believe. Everything's better after a bubble bath. Rituals are important. Mm. <laughs> if you want him to go to bed on time. He's gonna do that for hours. Monster story, daddy. Again? <laughs> okay, I may have told him this one before. Nobody knew what to do, but Daddy did. He would slay that icky monster, hiding what was left of him in a special place that no one would ever find. Daddy's box. You know about Daddy's box? I always knew this day would come, just not so soon. I'm not sure how this next chapter goes. Oh, it's not so nice seeing him like that, taking care of his child. And not just having the nanny, which, by the way, what happened to to Sonia? Was it? I may be a little late tomorrow. It shouldn't take long. Nothing's changed. Travis, we have to find another. Don't you think I already know that? Hmm. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. No, it's okay. okay. I just want to make sure that. Uh rely on you of course good boy this gives me psycho vibes I, I, I don't 
da, da, da. Yeah, uh, juice is in the fridge, freshly squeezed. Breakfast is a good way to start the day. Yeah, another day of sitting on our asses waiting for OIS to clear us on the restaurant shooting. Oh my god. Yo. Oh. What are you doing? I wanted to do this the other night, but the shooting sort of messed everything up. Will you? Are you insane? Come on, Dev, I'm trying to be f***ing romantic here. When, when have we ever talked about marriage? Will you get up? Aww. She ruined the moment. <laughs> this is huge! You know, like the ring is the ring. It's beautiful. It's just... I just need time to think about this. All the time you need. Pancakes are burning. But you know, it was so obvious that she she would ruin the moment because she she does that. I don't know. I mean, I guess Quinn makes me happy. She can't even smile like <laughs> without saying it. We get along great, and there's no drama. And after the last couple of years, that's kind of nice. But I'm not sure I want anything more than no drama right now. But if I tell him no, then it's over, right? And I'm not sure I want that either. So you're just gonna strain him along? Oh, it's a video. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hero. Thank you very much. You've totally gone viral, Morgan. You're an internet sensation. Give it a rest, man. What, dude? I, she's a superstar. I mean, have you guys read the comments? Oh, you? she has. And if you're the one that wrote the poem about my ass. Or not of what you speak. And it was a limerick, thank you. Can we The shooting behind us, we put everything into finding out who did this to Omar Rivera. You still thinking this is drug related? Well, to a cartel, snake is a snitch. If this wasn't a warning to others to keep their mouth shut, I'm not sure what the message is. Maybe because the message is in a language only I understand. What is that holy piece of sh doing here? Who is that piece of shit? Another new character? One big bad ex-con turned minister. He runs an auto body shop using former inmates. And as you can see, some of our brothers in blue think it's a sham. That can't be a man of the cloth. That's a killer. Settled in next door. Well, that would explain the smell of perfume. No. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten around to finalizing Sergeant Batista's paperwork? Because I haven't seen anything come across my desk. The sooner the department has a full-time lieutenant, the better. I could not agree more. He's going to promote... No, no way, no, no. She's a junior. He cannot promote Debra. But he was looking at the video. So... Oh no, that's gonna be... S no. No. Came in, he needed some breaks for his pickup. He brought uh, everybody grapefruits and oranges. It was a good day. <clears throat> so are you, are you guys any closer to finding out who did this to him? Well, that's why you're here. When I knew brother Sam, he was Samuel Wright. One of his victims fought back and Wright killed him. I was ready to make my move until a drug bust took Wright off my table. You never saw Rivera hanging out with any of his old crew? Omar had moved past that world. Because I remember you saying the same thing about the last ex-con you watched for. He gets paroled and goes out and kills a 19-year-old girl. There's not a day that goes by. I don't pray for that girl. Her blood's on your hands. There's a lot more than that girl's blood on my hands. What? My past. Things that I've done. Life that I lived. I don't give a rat's what you think about me, understand? Omar did not have this coming. His demons were gone. Men can change. I myself haven't witnessed that, but it, c it could be that people change, fundamentally change. Did you see me, sir? I remember when I had this office. Corruption was everywhere. My dad said you never knew who you could trust back then. Harry was one of the good ones. And so are you. Oh, no. No. It's why I'm making you Homicide's new lieutenant. No, no, no. <laughs> no. But this is Batista's job. He's expecting it. He's earned it. Well, Sergeant Batista is a fine officer, but he comes with certain uh, baggage. Why does everyone keep saying that? I was just doing my job. That's not how I see it. This office needs someone like you. Oh my God, Dexter would flip out. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not for it. I'm sorry. 
quite the day. It's crazy. Lieutenant. I can't do this. It, but, I totally dicks Batista. She, yeah, exactly. What could Matthews possibly be thinking? He's thinking I want to stick it to Maria. You ever wonder why dad never made LT? He had his hands full with me. You know, after his funeral, a tiny part of me was relieved. I tried so hard to get him to pay attention to me. And I thought with him gone, I wouldn't need his approval anymore, but... 20 years later, I still do. He's still up here in my head. I'll have achieved more than he ever did on the force. And that's the part that scares the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. Dad was my litmus test for what a real cop is supposed to be. And if he never made lieutenant... And you have no one to compare yourself to. And I don't want to be f***ing like Guerta. <laughs> so how would I even know if I was doing a good job? I'd be totally on my own on this. Holy shit, I really want it. Okay, let's see how she does, but if I were an uh, angel, I would be pissed. No, no, his girlfriend? Ah! Oh, Travis! Yeah, okay. Or sister, or... Really wish you wouldn't use that word. Well, maybe I wouldn't if my brother would use the doorbell. Oh, you really scared me! That was a long hug. <laughs> Slow down. And save some room for dessert. I told you I have to work tonight. You're working too much. I can see it in your face. <laughs> I like to keep it's not the how much, it's what he's been doing. A bunch of fifth graders focused on art. Today, all they could talk about was they found another flock of those dead birds up north. They think it's the end of the world or something. <laughs> Oh my god. What if it were? Then I'd say we better eat this ice cream fast. Can't stay, I have to go. Oh, come on, blow off work for once. I barely get to see you anymore. Well, that was before. Before what? <sighs> before I found my purpose. Travis, we used to be so close. We used to talk, and now it's like pulling teeth just to see you for an hour. I miss you too. So let me spend an evening with my baby brother. <laughs> what, they've never seen a white guy before? Can I help you? Yeah, I was hoping to get an estimate. Your shop came highly recommended. You out front? Mm -hmm. Was that the Holy Spirit? Or his dark passenger checking out mine? Good shepherd, what's that mean exactly? The men you see here, they're like my flock. My job is to make sure that they don't want. It's a lot to take on. Yeah, well, I got a lot to answer for. You know, once killed a man, walked off scot free. Hmm. For that, I need to pay. pay. I'm surprised to hear you say that. But don't be. The spirit moves me to tell my story and share. I was facing death row. Judge presiding over my case, suddenly dropped dead. Yeah, it sounds like divine intervention. A God was playing me all right. I had to go out here and get good and high before he just said, son, that's enough. I get stopped, possession charge, go back to jail. But hallelujah, praise God, that's how I got saved. He's an interesting character. He And honestly, he looks sincere. Maybe he'll be helping uh, the department solve the mystery with the killers, the... Religion killers. Religious killers. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, go tell your friend. Don't be a coward. I wanted to let you know that I'm the detective I am because of you. Thank you. Always had my back, and more than that, you're like family to me. Where is this going? Angel Matthews has asked me to be the new lieutenant. I could never, ever do this job without your blessing. So you just say the word and I'll tell Matthews to go f*** himself. Oh, yeah. As if he's going to tell her that. Now you're putting him in this awkward position where he needs to, to let you down. It's really great. It's about time a real cop had that job. I can't be happier. Oh, it's not fair. I just found out about Morgan. I'm so sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Matthews is just using Morgan to get back at me, but it won't work. She's barely out of diapers. Don't do that. Dad's a good detective. Better but than you ever were. But so, so are you. 
I will fix this. I enough, fix Maria. Enough. Angel, I'm so sorry. Come if Matthews hates you. I'm always the one paying the price. The good shepherd has fled his field for seedier pastures. The question is why? Close. Seems old habits die hard. Brother Sam's not a changed man after all. But th there's no blood, so I don't think he actually shot him. He's still a wolf. Oh, shoot. <gasps> no, 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 no. Sam, it's me. I was here earlier, the SUV. Eli. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Your car's inside. Maybe we should come back tomorrow. No. And get it over with now. This isn't how I envisioned taking down Brother Sam. Alive? Yeah. I know it. There was no blood. I can't believe you took a shot at me. Now I'm confused. Don't you think about running off. I chased your ass down once. So I'd do it again. You understand? You know, the Bible says David broke a lamb's leg to protect it from wandering off. I gotta tend to my flock any way I can. Good shepherd. Yeah, when I have to be. <laughs> is this what the power of belief is all about? Knowing a dead fruit vendor never strayed? The ability to change? What is it? Nothing good. Stay back. Where's our boy? Safe. Please get off the property. Is there a problem? This is you staying back. This is not your fight. <laughs> you deaf, Pendejo? <clears throat> you should pick up your friend and leave. Not without our boy, Nick. I'm not afraid of you, son. And damn sure ain't afraid to die. I know what's waiting for me on the other side. Do you? And behold the upright, for at the end of that man is peace. Now shut up. <laughs> what you waiting for, son? He can't tell if Brother Sam is bluffing, crazy, or a true believer. You don't want to do that? Faith, brother. God is in control. Miami Metro, you kill him or me. I'll have the whole department after you. Mm -hmm. That was... That was a miracle. Miami Metro. Forensics department. Lab geek. You don't fight like no lab geek. Oh, I have mercy. It's just a... Uh... Evening full of wonders tonight, huh? Yeah, I do like him. That same guy. My sisters. She was worried about me. I couldn't get away. You know that you can't be saved, right? She is a good person. She's all that I have. You have me. And you have God now. You have to be reminded of that. Is this what you want, Travis? What? What? No, 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 no. To hurt me. You see how I suffer for your sins. Oh, he's a manipulator. I will see her again. I swear. It's my job to take care of you. I will do better. Oh my God. I will show you. <laughs> That kind of mental abuse is horrible. <laughs> Candles in the shape of a heart. Oh my god. Beers and lily. I can't marry you. Bridge. I'm sorry. You're so good to me, but I can't. If you don't want to be with me, then why are you with me? I'm sorry for wanting to be an adult here, Deb. I, I just like things the way they are. Not good enough. More. That's the problem. I don't. Uh, she has some uh, some issues. She you needs are, to, you know, I just don't to take don't care of you when I get back, right? Yeah. Oh, and I'm your new boss. I have any clean shirts? Your room, or former room. Who doesn't rinse out their ball? Temporary, I promise. What do you think? Dad would be proud. Thanks again for letting me crash here until I find a place. Am I making the biggest mistake of my life? No, I don't think so. 
Miss Harrison gets older, I've been thinking more about what I believe in. I'm coming to find that the list is kind of short. What do any of us really believe in? I know what Deborah doesn't believe in. Love. <laughs> F you, Tom. You get one of those as captain. We agreed the new lieutenant would be Batista. I agreed to nothing. This is going to be a disaster, and I won't take the fall for it. Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh, better hurry. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be late. Your first official task, Captain. This is insane. Look at her. She's a baby. The youngest officer ever to make lieutenant in the history of Miami Metro homicide. God, Angel is so supportive. I do want to see how everything kind of crumbles under her hands. Okay, this is so freaking cute. The good thing about the mind of a two-year-old, it's easily distracted. He won't remember daddy's box if he has one of his own. Oh. <laughs> How about a new story? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. First little pig built a house of straw. The third, a house of bricks. Mm -hmm. But along came the big bad wolf. That's actually a scary story. Some have big eyes, the better to see you with. Others huff and puff. While others oh. hide in plain sight. I think I sprained my ankle. Really? I should know. Because like it or not, I'm one too. That's never going to change. Neither is the fact my little lamb is becoming a little boy. Walking, talking, listening. From now on, the only wolves in his life have to be the stuff of fairy tales. I can no longer allow him to see the real me. The only way this story gets to have a happy ending. The second episode... Well, after the first episode, I took a day off. And now I'm filming again. And although the first episode felt kind of weird or different, this one also felt different, but it was kind of better. There were a lot of really, really interesting things to grasp on. Deborah, you know, being uh, the new lieutenant, really seeing Dexter handling, you know, being a father, really seeing the ritual that they have. There were some, I would say, uh, writing slash directing choices that I, I don't like as much. Mostly when characters, they started talking to themselves like, you know, like uh, Deborah did when she was about to tell Queen that she's becoming the new lieutenant. Then he rushed out of the apartment, so she kind of said it to herself in some cases in some shows it's okay especially when it's done from the very beginning like i see it i, I now have been uh, watching uh, some uh, re-watching actually gilmore girls just a few episodes because i really like that show and they've been doing it i think really since the beginning so it doesn't feel weird when they do that but in Dexter, especially with uh, characters that are not Dexter, yeah, sometimes it, it felt kind of out of place. Other things that were out of place, out of character, uh, Dexter dancing at his high school reunion. You no, know, it's hard to have a solid opinion after only two episodes. But th the second episode definitely helped me get into the groove a little bit more. Uh, they, these two episodes, I think the whole season is gonna be filled with religion and faith. And now Sam, Sam is a really interesting character. We've only seen him one episode and yet they kind of already managed to make him one of my favorites. I don't know if he's gonna, he's probably gonna be just one of the highlights of this season and then we're probably going to be done with him and that's kind of what i predict for that character he might die you know what because he's so he's so fierce he's and fearless because 
he's not afraid of dying because he's done so many bad things and he's like you know, if I'm going to die, then at, at least I, I'm dying knowing that I changed myself and I'm trying to do good now. And so he knows that I bet he's thinking to himself, if I die, I go to hell because I did all those bad things. But that's OK, because I deserve it. That makes him such a fascinating character. And I'm really looking forward to see more of him. Uh, more of him with Dexter. And yeah, something I didn't mention while I'm watching this episode about... Uh, I, I really wanted to say how much I, I appreciate La Guerra being at the top, like one of the sharks, and yet do it in such a style among all the other people who don't have any fashion style she's always so colorful and flashy and i i just love it she spices everything up and then on the other hand you have you have deborah who came to her kind of i i would call it inauguration with her uniform although i think that yeah she's a great cop a great detective if she's not going to ever bend Bend or bent? Not sure what which word I want to use or should use. Uh, if she's she's not gonna break the rules ever, I don't think she's going to to keep that new job of hers for a long time. Because again, you you can see it with Laguerre, you can see it with Matthews. They they're all kind of s snakes and oh, snakes. That's funny because we have snakes now on the show. They're very political and they know what they need to do to get what they want. Their job is to lead and it's a very important job to lead, to inspire people. Deborah definitely has some great qualities. She's, I think she's going to learn a very important lesson, being a lieutenant. Maybe I'm being too cynical and it is possible to to do this job without being, you know, like La Guerra or Matthews, but I don't know. So far, as, as, uh, if we're going to talk a little bit about the killers, um, they're not very menacing or scary, especially when one of them is being manipulated like this and he's really I think he actually cried yeah I don't know if this season is going to have some kind of an actual supernatural elements in it oh you know what I think I think maybe that the old guy is just trying to get no I thought maybe he's trying to get back at people who did him wrong but the uh, maybe, and he's just using faith and God to manipulate the guy, the, the younger guy, to make him think he's doing a, some kind of a divine job. Yeah, that's all I have for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.